Hello, everything Liberia family. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first, before we get into any further detail, I want to say I appreciate you guys for watching, subscribing, commenting, and asking questions uh, about what we are doing. So the point of this channel is to inform our people out there who are interested in doing projects in Liberia or, you know, even in any part of uh, Africa. Price might be significantly different, but that will give you this. These videos will give you an idea on what to look for, you know, the whole process of you building your uh, your house or your apartment building. This give you at least an insight of what happens, the process, how much it costs. Like it gave you estimate of how much you should be spending, the quantity of material you should be using. And I already told you guys, this is a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. It's a total of 900 square feet. So as a listener, you do the math, right? I already, so the number one thing, the number one uh, mistake people make when they're doing a construction, they do not inquire about the size of the building. If you don't do that, you will lose a lot of money because you do not understand how much things cost. That's number one. You will not, You also won't understand the quantity of material you will need. But if you know the size of the building, you know the technical uh, drawing. If you have a technical drawing and you know the size of the building, you, uh, you can basically sit wherever you are. As long as you have a trusted agent to be out there to do your work, you can just sit down and relax. And if they say we need 100 blocks to do X, Y, and Z, if you know the size of what they're doing, you will know that, you know what, the 100 blocks is legit. This is how much they need to do that work. So knowing, having a, an engineer to do your plan is very important. That goes a long way because you will understand that, okay, if you need X, Y, and Z to do X, Y, and Z, this is how much it's, it's going to cost and this is how many you will need. So that's just a little advice for the future um developers out there uh so let's get to this apartment uh, as you guys can see we're almost done this we have come a long way with this apartment i can uh i just remember it was around november when we actually started finishing this two bedroom two bathroom apartment and uh, we have come a long way the doors are done the floor is done the windows are installed electrical wiring has all been run through the wall and the light fixture and all those things are already put in. The only thing we need to do is just do little touches here and there, make the place livable so the tenant can uh, take this apartment and make it their own, paint inside whatever color they want to paint. And that's pretty much it. So, so without further ado, let's get into the actual uh, material we use for the doors, the electrical work, and the windows, and pretty much there's just the little things here and there. All right, let's get started. So for the doors, uh, there's a total of eight doors. Uh, so for the panel doors, these are the panel doors. If you look at this, that's the panel door. That's a panel door. And then you have the plywood doors. So those are the two doors we use. The panel and the plywood doors. So the panel doors are solid and the plywood is plywood makes a little bit of solid wood. And those are the two doors we're using. So for the panel door, it's $45 for this kind we have. And the plywood door is $55. So you may ask, why is it you spend more on a panel door than the plywood door? So to explain that to you, the panel door prices varies right so if you just get the panel door done not finished you can get it from thirty dollars 
to fifty dollars based on where you go and now uh, who's uh doing the work for you but if you get the panel door finished painted and nicely done sand down it can range between 75 to 120 dollars for a completely finished panel door so for the plywood door the plywood door the cheapest i've ever gotten a plywood door was for 30 dollars but the most expensive i also paid for a plywood door was 65 dollars so why is there a price difference it all depends on the level of finishing so the $65 plywood door I've got was sand down, painted, and it was very, very nice finished. But for this time, because we have a lot more work to do, I do not intend to spend that much money on a door. So we went to we went the, the more affordable route, and uh, we were going to finish these doors ourselves. And most people like to paint the doors anyways. So... That's another reason why I decided, you know what? We're just going to get the doors and we're going to post some, um, we're going to finish it, put some vanish on it and make it look nice. And if you want to paint it white or whatever color, that's hundred percent up to you. But I would prefer to paint it white. Um, so that's for the doors. And then the windows, the windows are, they're a little bit more expensive because of where we are located. We're very close by the beach. Well, we're about approximately five minute walking distance from the beach. So I wanted the windows to be more durable. So the windows, I spent a total of $1,800 on eight windows. So $1,800 on eight windows. The doors total, the doors was $400 total. And then we also got the, the trim. And that was one twenty as well, and I paid hundred and twenty dollars to install the doors. The electrical wiring, we bought uh, six rows of wires. There are the ten, the eighth, and the twelfth. Um, I guess I don't know how they measure the wire, but those are the three different wires we uh we got. And then uh, so in total for the electrical wiring, I spent. For the finished electrical wiring, I spent $895. That's including material and workmanship. And um, that's pretty much it for the rest of the work. We also painted the overheads. The overhead painting was done. And we spent, I spent about $125. The vanish, vanishing the doors, all those things cost me around two hundred dollars that's including workmanship and all that but yeah that's pretty much it this uh as you guys can see this apartment is done i want to thank you guys for staying along with the process it's not easy to do these things you have to be involved you have to make sure that your job is being done the way you want it to be done so i would say thank you for watching please don't forget to comment subscribe and like the channel so I can bring you more content about great building information from Liberia. Thank you. Have a blessed day.